welcome to day two. Uh, I've got Butts Hill for breakfast. I've not had any breakfast yet, but there's a town four minutes away after the climb, and then I've got Petersfield. So I might stop in Petersfield, which is about 10 miles away, uh, grab some breakfast. So we're going uphill on an empty stomach, but the sun's come out to meet me. It's taken me a while to pack up. I've managed to get everything back in. That was my big worry is I wouldn't get it back in once I got it off. But uh, we've got 112 kilometers today winding around the south down so should be a good day if the sun stays out the original forecast was there might be a spot of rain so fingers crossed that doesn't happen i don't know what i'm going to do if i get stuff wet so let's crack on oh baby i love your madness it's so incredibly beautiful oh you shine like gold so selfless too I've only done two, but that's my favourite one so far. That was a beautiful climb. Harvingston Lane, but the Hill, whatever you want to call it. I'm not quite sure what I can see over there now. There's water. I don't know uh, what big river or whether I'm not that far from the sea. I'm going to have to check. But what a view. What a climb. Big dirty McDonald's breakfast consumed. Uh, that was actually Portsmouth in the distance. And then that led me to a good series of bike paths on the 222 route into Petersfield and through Petersfield. I didn't really see anything that looked safe to leave the bike. And then I saw McDonald's on a map, so I made a little detour. And I've just hit a place called Steep. And uh, my route's taken me off to the right and there's a road closure sign here. And I thought, oh God, so I just better check the route. And I am actually on an official climb. This is Stoner Hill. So I've missed it on the route somehow, so I'm going to go up the top and come back down. Uh, but that's from the 11th anyway, isn't it? So I got, I got some time. Well, it eventually got better towards the top, but down the bottom I was thinking this is one of those climbs that you're doing for the sake of it and don't need to. So I'm glad I had a look, otherwise I'd have completely missed this one and the view. I've just looked on the official climbs app and I figured out I am actually on X21 The Warren. This is the next climb. Uh, oh, I was about to say, other than the smell of wild garlic, it's not particularly steep. And <laughs> I've just gone around a bend. Let's put the camera away, do this properly. So uh, that was quite a decent finish to the Warren, but I've just come around the bend and gone up another climb, and that was probably better than the last two, but that one's not one. But we got a, a bit of downhill now. We're going all the way over to the Harting Downs, safe Harting. They're the next two climbs, pretty quick succession. There will be uh, four and five today. Uh, and I think there's another two after that. So I think we might, might actually have seven today in total. Uh, one of them I can dump off my camping stuff, put up the tent and just go out with an empty bike. So that might be interesting. But we're heading in that direction. I've only actually done 24 and a half kilometres this morning, but it's been a very eventful 20, 24 and a half kilometres. Lots of uphill. If you're thinking of asking, saddle, I'm still okay with. Legs, still okay. But there's a long week yet. <laughs> it could very quickly turn. I know when I did Cycle France, day three was the day I struggled with all the big miles, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll keep eating. 
and hopefully be okay. So those two climbs out of West Harton, the first one was a beautiful climb. Uh, the second one was just tough, it was a main road, it just went on as a long drag. And somewhere along there, the wind has blown my glasses off and I'm not noticed. I don't know whether it was the bit down the other side, but it's quite strong windy today. Um, so I've just been now rolling across the downs and uh, it's just started to drizzle. So I've just sheltered under the tree, put my jacket on and we've got about 30k to go to the, the campsite. I can either go straight to the campsite, set up the tent, then go do Bigner Hill, or I can go do Bigner Hill and then go set up the campsite. Looking how steep Bigner Hill is, I'm probably going to put the tent up first, but we'll see when we get there. Um, my Wahoo is about four miles behind today from where it should be on the route. I don't know whether that's all the auto pauses up all those hills because I wasn't going fast enough with all this load on. Never mind, but we will get there. Uh, fingers crossed this is a passing shower. I knew there was a chance of some rain today. It's not too heavy, thankfully. to be someone else I would and like all of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious fuck it I made this way but why didn't I stay when I had the chance maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this page Well, that wasn't part of the plan. Um, looks like I found another bridle way. Although, uh, that's quite a telling surface. <laughs> the last 15, 20 K has been beautiful. I've been really enjoying myself. Um, so let's just enjoy this little bit and amble through this bridle way. <laughs> I don't know where it comes out. But it's been a great day other than losing my glasses of which 11 years cycling, I've never lost a pair of glasses and now I've lost two within a few months. Bonkers, didn't even hear it go. No idea where they went, not a clue. I'll have a look back through the footage and see when they were last on my helmet or my face. <laughs> I've had a hell of a job trying to find this place. <laughs> I think I've done a couple of miles up the road. There's a signpost for a Cadence Cafe. And I thought, oh, I haven't got any food for tonight. Should I stop? I thought, no. And I carried on going. Uh, the, the route ran out. And uh, just trying to find it has been a nightmare. It is actually in the Cadence Cafe. But I am in the middle of nowhere. 
I assume there's some shower blocks down. We'll uh, get the tent up right down there and have a look. But I am on my own again. Literally in a field in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but that Duncton Hill, just to get up here, uh, forget that one. It's the main road. It was five o'clock. Loads of idiot drivers just trying to force their way past. It was raining. Uh, there was a viewing point to look back down. I couldn't be bothered because it was raining. Um, that's the first time <laughs> I've been a bit peeved over the last couple of days. But yeah, well, other than losing my glasses, that's peeved me off a little bit. But yeah, we've uh, we cut off Big Neil. I had to come up Duncton Hill to get here, and then I was going to go back down, do Big Hill, and come back. But I am going back that way tomorrow, so I will literally just go up Big Hill tomorrow, uh, save myself a few kilometres, save my legs. Um, the big question is what we're going to have for food. I've got coffee and that's about it. <laughs> there isn't anywhere around. There was no bit down, there wasn't a town down the bottom of the hill. There's nowhere going up the hill. Not ideal. But anyway, <laughs> tomorrow's another day. <laughs> the cafe opens at nine though, so there might be some breakfast. But yeah. We'll have a wander down and have a look. Tent time. All right, so tent's up. I am all alone in the wilderness <laughs> while camping. I'm going to wander down, I'm going to have a shower, and uh, then we're going to relax for the evening. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Day three. I'm off to Eastbourne tomorrow. Uh, should be quite exciting. Should be some good scenery. 150 kilometres was on the menu, but I've added Bigna Hill in, so it might be about a few more nearing nearing that hundred miles right so we will see you in the next video